Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I'm going to say your blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, you. King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you speak the words of your Torah in their mouths and the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, the offspring of your people. People, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence to enlighten you, may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. <coughs> We have three reads. The first one is Exodus 18, 1 through 20, 23. Jethro, the priest of Midian, Moses' father-in-law, heard that all heard of all that Elohim had done for Moses and for Israel, his people. How Yahweh had brought Israel out of <coughs> Egypt. Now Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, had taken Zephora's Moses' wife, after he had sent her home, along with her two sons. The name of the one was Gershom, for he said, I have been a sojourner in a foreign land. And the name of the other was Eliezer, for he <coughs> said, The Elohim of my father was my help, and delivered me from the sword of Pharaoh. Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, came with his son and his wife to Moses in the wilderness, where he was encamped at Mount at the mountain of Elohim, and when he sent word to Moses, I, your father-in-law Jethro, are coming to you with your wife and her two sons with her. Moses went out to meet his father-in-law and bowed down and kissed him, and they asked each other of their welfare and went into the tent. Then Moses told his father-in-law that Yahweh, what Yahweh had done to Pharaoh and to Egyptians for Israel's sake, all the hardship that had come upon them, in the way, and how Yahweh had delivered them. And Jethro rejoiced for all the good that Yahweh had done for Israel, and that he had delivered them out of the hands of the Egyptians. <clears throat> Jethro said, Blessed be Yahweh, who has delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians, and out of the hand of Pharaoh, and has delivered the people from under the hand of the Egyptians. Now I know that Yahweh is greater than all Elohims, because in this affair they dealt arrogantly with the people. And Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, brought a burnt offering and sacrificed to Elohim. And Aaron came with all the elders of Israel to eat bread with Moses' father-in-law before Elohim. <clears throat> the next day Moses sat to judge the people. And the people stood around Moses from morning till evening. When Moses' father-in-law saw all that he was doing for the people, he said, What is this that you are doing for the people? <clears throat> Excuse me. Why do you sit alone and all the people stand around you from morning till morning, uh, from morning till evening? And Moses said to his father-in-law, Because the people come to me to inquire of Elohim, and when they have a dispute, they come to me and I decide between one person and the other, and I make them know all the statutes of Elohim and his laws. Moses' father-in-law said to him, What do you, what you are doing is not good. You and the people. With you will certainly wear yourselves out, for the thing is too heavy for you. You are not able to do it alone. Now obey my voice. I'll give you advice, and Elohim be with you. You shall represent the people before Elohim and bring their cases to Elohim. And you shall not warn them of, of the statutes or laws, and make them known the way in which they must walk, and what they must do. Moreover, look for more able men from all the people who... Men who fear Elohim, who are trustworthy and hate a bribe, a, and place men over the people as chiefs, thousands of chiefs of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens, and make them judge the people at all times. Every great matter they shall bring to you, but every small matter they shall decide themselves, so it will be easier for you, and they will bear the burden for you. If you do this, Elohim will direct you, and you will be able to endure, and all this people will also go into their place in peace. 
So Moses listened to the voice of his father-in-law and did all that he said. Moses chose able men out of Israel and made them heads over the people, chiefs of thousands, hundreds, fifties, and of tens. And they judged people at all times. Any hard case brought to Moses, but any small matter they decided themselves. Then Moses let his father-in-law depart, and he went away to his own country. <coughs> on the third new moon, after the people of Israel had gone out of the land of Egypt, on that day they came to the wilderness of Sinai. And they set out from Rephidim, and came into the wilderness of Sinai, and they encamped in the wilderness. There Israel encamped before the mountain, while Moses went up to Elohim, Yahuwah called out, <coughs> called to him out of the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob, and tell the people of Israel, You yourselves have seen what I did to the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagles' wings, and brought you to myself. Now therefore, if you will indeed ob obey my voice, and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession among all peoples, for all the earth is mine. And you shall be my, be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the people of Israel. So Moses came and called the elders of the people and set before them all these words that Yahweh had commanded him. All the people answered together and said, All that Yahweh has spoken we will do. And Moses reported, did the words of the people to Yahweh, and Yahweh said to Moses, Behold, I am coming to you in a thick cloud, that the people may hear what I speak to you, and may also believe you forever. When Moses told the words of people to Yahweh, Yahweh said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow, and let them wash their garments, and be ready for the third day. For on the third day, Yahweh will come down on the Mount Sinai in the sight of the people, and you shall set Limits for the people all around, saying, Take care not to go up into the mountain or touch the edge of it. Whoever touches the mountain shall be put to death. No hand shall touch him, but he shall be stoned or shot, whether beast or man, he shall not live. When a trumpet sounds a long blast, they shall come up to the mountain. So Moses went down from the mountain to the people and consecrated the people. And they washed their garments, and he said to the people, Be ready for the third day. Do not go near a woman. On the morning of the third day, there were thunders and lightnings and a thick cloud on the mountain and very loud trumpet blasts, so that all the people of the camp trembled. Then Moses said to the people out of the camp, oh, brought the people out of the camp to meet Elohim, and they took their stand at the foot of the mountain. Now Mount Sinai was wrapped in smoke because Yahweh had descended on it in fire. The smoke of it went up like the smoke of a kiln, and the whole mountain trembled greatly. And as the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder, Moses spoke. And Elohim answered him in a thunder. Yahweh came down on Mount Sinai to the top of the mountain, and Yahweh called Moses to the top of the mountain, and Moses went up. And Yahweh said to Moses, Go down and warn the people, lest they break through to Yahweh, and look, and many of them perish, and let the priests who come near to Yahweh consecrate themselves, lest Yahweh Break out against them. And Moses said to Yahweh, The people cannot come up to Mount Sinai, for you yourself warn us, saying, Set limits around a mountain and consecrate it. And Yahweh said to him, Go down and come up, bringing Aaron with you. But do not let the priests and the people break through to come up to Yahweh, lest he break out against them. So Moses went down to the people and told them, and Elohim spoke all these words, saying, I am Yahweh your Elohim, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You should all have no other Elohims before me. You shall not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven or above, or that is in earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them, for I, Yahweh your Elohim, am a jealous Elohim, visiting the iniquity of of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing steadfast love to the thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of Yahweh your Elohim in vain, for Yahweh will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day, keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do work, but on the seventh day, is a Sabbath to Yahweh your Elohim, and on it you shall do, 
shall not do any work, you or your sons or your daughters, or your male servants or your female servants or your livestock or your sojourner who is within your gates. For in six days Yahweh made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them, and rested on the seventh day. Therefore Yahweh blessed the Sabbath day make it, and made it holy. See. Honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land of Yahweh your Elohim is giving you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor, you shall not covet your neighbor's house, you shall not covet your neighbor's wife for your male servants, or your female servant, or his ox, or his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's. <laughs> Now when all the people saw the thunder and the flashes of lightning and the sound of the trumpet and the mountain smoking, the people were afraid and trembled, and they stood far off and said to Moses, You speak to us, and we will listen, but do not let Elohim speak to us, lest we die. Moses said to the people, Do not fear, for Elohim has come to test you, that the fear of him may be before you, that you may not sin. The people stood far off while Moses drew near to the thick darkness where Elohim was. And Yahweh said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the people of Israel, You have seen for yourselves that I have talked with you from heaven. You shall not make gods of silver to be with me, nor shall you make for yourselves gods of silver. An altar of earth you shall make for me and sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and your offering and your peace offerings and your sheep in your oxen, in every place that I cause my name to be remembered, I will come to you and bless you. If you make me an altar of stone, you shall not build it of hewn stones, for if you wield your tool on it, you profane it. And you shall not go up by steps to my altar, that your nakedness be not exposed on it. Our second read. Isaiah 1 through seven six. Oh, Isaiah six one through seven six. In the year that King Uz Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up, and the train of his robe filled the temple, and he stood up. <coughs> above him stood the seraphim, each had six wings. With two he covered his face, and with the other two he covered his feet, and with two he flew, and one called to another and said, Holy, holy, Holy is Yahweh of hosts, the whole earth is full of his glory. And the fountain of his, of the thresholds took, shook at the voice of him who called, and the house was filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, for I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen King Yahweh of hosts. Then one of the seraphim flew to me, having his hand, having in his hand a burning coal that he had taken with tongs from the altar, and he touched my mouth and said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin atoned for. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. And he said, Go, and say to this people, Keep on hearing, but do not understand. Keep on seeing, but do not perceive. Make the heart of this people dull, and their ears heavy, and blind their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and turn, and be healed. Then I said, How long, O Lord? And he said, Until cities lie waste without inhabitants, and houses without people, and the land is a desolate waste, and Yahweh removes people from far away, and the forsaken places are many in the midst of the land, and though a tenth remain in it, it will be burned again, like a terebinth or an oak, whose stump remains when it is felled. The holy seed is its stump. In the days of Ahaz, the son of Jotham, son of Uzziah, king of Judah, Rezim, the king of Syria, and Pekah, the son of Ramalia, the king of Israel, came up to Jerusalem to wage, to wage war against it. But could not not yet mount an attack against it. When the house of David was told, Syria is in league with Ephraim, the heart of Ahaz, the son of his people, shook as the trees of the forest shake before the wind. And Yahweh said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz. <coughs> Excuse me. 
you and Shear Joshua, your son, the end of the conduit of the upper pool on the highway to the washer's field, and say to him, Be careful, be quiet, do not fear, do not let your heart be faint, because these are two smoldering stumps of firebrands. At the fierce anger of Rezin and Syria, the sons of Romalia, because Syria and Ephraim, the son of Romalia, has devised evil against you, saying, Let us go up against Judah and terrify it, and let us conquer it for ourselves, and set up son of Tabil as king in the midst of it. Isaiah 9, 6-7 For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty Elohim, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. For to us a child is born, and to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end. On the throne of David and his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness for this time forth and forevermore the zeal of Yahweh of hosts will do this. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, you King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of Jesus everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou. Adonai, giver of the Torah, Brukata Adonai, Elohim, Malach, Alom. Asher et Alonut, Ready, Met, Baishi, Elohim, Natabet, Tekedu, Brukata Adonai, Latina, Torah.